Here's the first huge lesson that I learned from playing chess, bro. I've been playing chess since like, so I always played stuff like a kid and stuff like that. But like when I started playing seriously, it was like a year and a half to two years ago. So with that being said, right, and I've been really heavy on it for a while now. Like definitely for the whole year, I've been super heavy on it. You feel me? Here's what I learned. Here's the first lesson. And the first lesson is don't depend on one thing or person. Here's the reason why. You'll realize that if you play most people online, bro, once you take their queen, they literally quit the game. They quit the game, bro. You feel me? And it's like, when you play against the computers, they don't, the computers don't quit the game. They'll still beat you after that. And that, that goes into a second lesson that I learned. You feel me? That's, that's for a different video, though. The first lesson about not depending on one thing is simply the fact that you got to understand something, bro. First, let's talk about the female aspect because it's, it's a queen, right? So most, most men, right, may have a girl inside their life you feel me and they just put all their love and care into this one person you feel me like this is this is really your heart for real like you feel me and then if you lose that you'll go come you'll, you'll just go down you'll just you'll just go down in life and it's like bro you still have all these other pieces on the board you have all these other things around you and it don't got to be female it could, it could be several different things around you right but you're gonna quit life just because you lost this one person and it don't even got to be a person that you lost. It could be whatever you attach too much value to. You feel me? People could attach value too much to one specific habit, to one specific substance, to one specific whatever. You feel me? If you attach all your value and love and care to that thing, once you lose it, you're going to literally quit the game. You feel me? And it's like, why would you quit the game when you could still win? Because here's the thing. With the second lesson I learned in chess, bro, when you watch that video, you're going to start seeing like, dang, bro. And I quit the game for no reason. Because at least in chess, right, when you quit the game, you just play a new game and stuff like that. In life, bro, like, you could play a new game through reincarnation, but reincarnation, like, here, here's the reason why that's that's called not real. <laughs> it's because, bro, reincarnation is not for your personality, bro. Your personality, this is the only personality you get, you feel me? Like, when you quote-unquote reincarnate, it's just a focal point of awareness going into a new body. But here's the thing, you got to understand, there only really is one awareness. So it's like... All you, all these focal points, souls and stuff like that. You feel me? It's like those are just like. It's like here's what I'm saying, bro. You don't remember your past life for real most of the time. You feel me? Like you don't. You feel me? Like unless unless you did some really crazy, spiritual awakening stuff in past lives to remember yourself with inside this life. You feel me? If you never did that before, then it's like it doesn't really matter. And even if you did the spiritual stuff, it doesn't even fully matter for real. It's not for your personality. Like you're rarely going to actually tap into your past lives until you until you actually have done spirit. Like like type stuff. Like if you were to, if you were to reincarnate. Like let's say you did a whole, whatever, bro. Anyway, that's the that's the lesson I learned, bro. Don't don't depend on one don't on one value or asset, bro. Because 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 if you lose that, bro, you don't want to just literally have your whole entire life just flip upside down. You feel me?